Matt Doherty is to have his medical Hotspur way in the next 48 hours. A great win for the Tottenham Hotspur under 18s. Five years of Hun Min Son in a Tottenham Hotspur shirt. Another Amazon deal for Spurs. And Jose's verdict as Tottenham beat Reading 4-1. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Friday the 28th of August. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. So let's start with talking about Matt Doherty, the Wolves defender, soon to be Tottenham defender, we all hope. Lots of media reports out in the last couple of days. Well, Sky Sports have just put this out on their website this evening, and it says Matt Doherty, Tottenham and Wolves agree transfer fee for defender. The fee for Doherty is believed to be in the region of £15 million, and the medical is in the next 48 hours. The report states Tottenham have agreed a transfer fee for Wolves defender Matt Doherty, which is believed to be in the region of £15 million. The 28-year-old Republic of Ireland international, who made 50 appearances for Wolves last season, will have his medical at Hotspur Way within the next 48 hours. A fantastic win for the Tottenham Hotspur under 18s earlier. This has been published on the official Tottenham Hotspur website and it states our under 18s hit four for the second time this week as they breeze past Leighton Orient 4 0 in a pre season friendly at Hotspur Way on Friday. Terrell Whitaker made it two goals in as many games following his effort in the midweek victory over Stevenage before Callum Cissé added his name to the score sheet five minutes before the break. Under-16s player Jamie Donnelly stepped off the bench to add a late brace, matching his tally from Tuesday's win to round off the scoring. As I said at the start of the video, today is the 28th of August and on this day in 2015, exactly five years ago, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club bought South Korean star Hun Min Son from Bayer Leverkusen. So we have had five years of Sonny. Of course, earlier today, he scored at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. He just loves to score at our brand new home, um, scoring against Reading in the pre-season friendly. Now, please do let me know your favourite Hun Min Son moment in a Tottenham shirt in the comments section below. A report out today from the Daily Mirror and they are stating that top Premier League clubs are reportedly lobbying for the five substitute rule to be reintroduced ahead of the new season. Top flight clubs were allowed to make five changes at three separate intervals, not including half-time, when the 2019-2020 season restarted following the coronavirus pandemic. Football's lawmakers, the IFAB, gave leagues the opportunity to continue with five subs if they wished for the new campaign. But Premier League sides voted 13-7 to in favour of reverting to three. However, according to the Sun newspaper, both Manchester City and Manchester United, along with Liverpool, Chelsea and Arsenal, are among clubs keen for the option of making five changes to continue. The Tottenham Hotspur women took to the Dare Skywalk at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium earlier today. This is a report on the club's website and it says Spurs women took on the Dare Skywalk at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium today, which served as an excellent team bonding activity for the squad ahead of the start of the new Barclays FA Women's Super League season, which starts next week. A report was published on the Sportico website earlier today and it states Amazon closing unprecedented Tottenham deal for online store. Amazon and Tottenham Hotspur are finalising a first of its kind retail partnership that will see the English football club build its own brand store on Amazon's website. 
It then goes on to say that the tie-up marks a new level of interest from Amazon in licensed sports merchandise, an area that hasn't yet been a major priority for the world's biggest online retailer. It also draws a line between Amazon's retail business and its growing Prime Video service, which is about to unveil a new documentary series about the club's 2019-2020 season. It was announced earlier today by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club that Tottenham's first two Premier League games of the 2020-2021 season have been chosen for TV coverage. Um, Tottenham's game against Everton at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium will now take place on Sunday the 13th of September. Kickoff will be 4.30pm and just a week later we play Southampton away at St Mary's that will now be played on Sunday the 20th of September 12pm kickoff. Do you remember the game back in November 2009 at White Hart Lane in the Premier League? Tottenham Hotspur 9, Wigan Athletic 1. Spurs striker Jermaine Defoe scored five goals for the club that day. Well, a report has come out today um, and it states that a Wigan fan wrote to Jermaine Defoe to ask if he would donate um, in helping to save the club who have entered administration. He asked for £5,000, uh, which uh, actually equaled to £1,000 for each goal Defoe scored in the 9-1 win against them back in 2009. And believe it or not, Jermaine Defoe paid without any hesitation just in a matter of a couple of hours. As I said at the start of the video, today is the 28th of August, so many happy returns to Tottenham Hotspur legend Paul Allen. He celebrates his 58th birthday today. Paul Allen played for Tottenham between 1985 and 1993, having signed from West Ham, and then when he left the club in 93, he went to play for Southampton. And an FA Cup winner with Tottenham Hotspur Football Club when we won it last back in 1991. Of course, earlier today at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, the game finished Tottenham Hotspur 4, Reading 1 in Tottenham's second pre-season friendly ahead of the 2020-2021 season. Tottenham head coach Jose Mourinho was very pleased. He said, it's a pity it doesn't give us three points. Um, jokes uh, apart, it wasn't bad at all, especially in the first half when we put things on the pitch that we worked on during the week. And it was very interesting. The way we're pressing our transitions, the way we're building, really, really interesting. It was very positive. The second half was normal. They made a lot of changes. We made a lot of changes. You lose a little of the structure of the game because it becomes more about giving minutes to players, minutes to the kids. But I think in the first half, by the organisational point of view, that was very interesting. Jose Mourinho then went on to say, I thought Reading were very well organised. Mark Bowen did very good work with them, organised. They know how to build and they know how to play. It was very good for us to put on the pitch things that we're working on in training and to have Serge Aurier back and Moussa Sissoko back for a few minutes. So step by step. Next week, they go to their international teams. Tomorrow, we'll do it all again. And of course, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium um, on Saturday afternoon, Tottenham Hotspur will play Birmingham City. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything that I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel already, please do hit that subscribe button. We're now very, very close to 40,000 subscribers. So thanks so much to everybody who subscribes to this channel um, at the moment. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy the Tottenham Hotspur friendly against Birmingham City at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Saturday afternoon. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs. Does. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I have been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.